cu dragă trăguță Mi-ai cerut ciora cu panglicuță Și-ai mai vrea, și-ai mai vrea, și-ai mai vrea matale Să-ți cumpere neica și sandale Well, here we are again, story number seven, continuation of the incredible, uh, incredibly sad and unbelievable uh, stories of uh, Bulgaria during the Second World War, Bill, and here's Rabbi Asa. Thank you, David. I will continue with the uh, Holocaust that did not take place and then come back to the uh, problem of why is this story the best kept secret of the Shoah, of the Holocaust. The, the Nazi Beckerley and the Bulgarian Belev signed an agreement that provided for 20,000 Jews to be shipped uh, as a first uh, shipment and then of course the rest of us would follow and that date was for some unknown reason to me March 9th 1943 well in Plovdiv for example uh, which I mentioned before which was the second largest Jewish community in Bulgaria the Jews were already gathered into the Jewish school synagogue complex yard. In other words, there was a large yard there, and the Jews of Plovdiv were aroused from their homes, uh, from their sleep, uh, told to take 15 kilograms, and to uh, report to the uh, uh, courtyard of the Jewish community and they were there for more than 24 hours standing and really crying and totally bewildered and all of a sudden the uh, bishop uh, 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 of the Plovdiv community, community the bishop of the uh, Eastern Orthodox Church came in the middle of the day and he said, my fellow Jews, I want you to know that you are not going to be deported, and if you are loaded on the trains, I, myself, will lie on the railroad tracks and not allow the train to depart, which was a most heroic statement by a Christian clergy. What was his name? Do you his name was um, uh, Bishop Kirill. 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 Like Kirill and Methodius, yeah. which you're going to tell us later. Yeah. About that. Uh, and uh, he was uh, incredible. Incredible and of course uh, many, many articles have been written about the, uh, the uh, Bishop of Plovdiv. Uh, and the saving of the Bulgarian Jews. Now, the order, the only thing missing of the document, and this is uh, the document of ex expulsion, and this is according to King Boris III biographer, uh, Gruev, G-R-U-E-V, and you could uh, find him in the library oh. and read his, it's in English, read his, memo his uh, biography of King Boris. It says, the order for not deporting the Jews to the East or resettling them in the East came from the highest source. Now, highest source in a monarchy, to me, it means only one thing, the king, the king himself. So the king, uh, because of all the IOUs that I mentioned in uh, segment number uh, four, I believe, right. where the Jewish people, because they knew that we we're going to be deported, they knew in advance, started indeed applying pressure to all 
uh, to every who is who in Bulgaria uh, about our saving or our deportation or to prevent the deportation. And of course the church, uh, as I said before, had um, issued a number of, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, synod uh, declarations against the deportation of the Jews. The deportation did not take place on March 9th. Tell us about May 25th, which happens okay. to be... The second deportation was to take place on May 25th, which happens to be a national holiday. Uh, holiday. Holiday celebrating the, uh, uh, the, the, the birth of the two saints who were brothers. Saint uh, Cyrilius and Saint Methodius, or basically Cyril and Methodi, in, in Bulgarian, I think it's Kirill, Kirill and Methodius. Kirill and Methodius. Yeah. And on their day, May 25th, was supposed to be the second deportation, but it really was more of a, of a like a like a circus, because there were riots in, Bulgaria, in Sofia of the Jewish uh, population and... Uh, riots? Riots, and, and there, was, there was not exchange of, of uh, fire. <coughs> the police did not shoot the protesters, but there was a strong uh, resistance to the Jews uh, protesting and all that. But basically, the infrastructure infrastructure was not there not for the deportation. Right. It was just a, a event in Sofia. I didn't even know in Burgas that there was something happening on May 25th. Mm -hmm. uh, the main reason for us being saved, aside from the king and the church and the uh, parliament uh, members that protested, was really the turn of events in the Eastern <coughs> Front. In other words, Hitler had two summers to win the war. Summer of 41, he started too late. Half the summer was already gone when he attacked Russia. And he made incredible advances in the summer and fall of 1941. When the Russian winter sets in, everything stops and you have to wait until the springtime to do to advance more and of course it did make great advances summer of 42 and uh, really uh, came close to the to the Stalingrad uh, uh, Leningrad etc 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 and it seemed like Russia was going to fall. I just wanted to add before we move forward, yes. uh, connecting with the, the famous saints, uh, brothers Cyril and Methodius, and this is because I'm married to a lovely Bulgarian lady, Bogdana, uh, that I learned, among other things, that Cyril and Methodius, please correct me if I'm wrong, reformed the Bulgarian language and also uh, reformed or reinvented a specific alphabet which a lot of people think of it as Russian exactly but it, it's called the Cyrillic alphabet after the name of one of the brothers right and which basically wanted to show distinction between the Orthodox Eastern Church and the Catholic Church in Rome, Rome. so uh, exactly I don't know if I if I got it no no close. you're 100% correct and tell Bogdana that she taught you she, well, taught, she taught me well, thank you. Blog well. <laughs> Anyway. Now, uh, by winter of 1942-43, Russia was still uh, 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 repelling the uh, German uh, blitz or the German offensive, and the counter-offensive took place in February, March, April of 1943. In other words, 
by the summer of 1943, Germany was in retreat. Took two more years for the Russians and of course the Allies coming from France, from Normandy, to finish off Germany. But Hitler had two summers and he did not succeed in his plan and after, let's say, the beginning of 1943, it was in reverse. Now, no king will sacrifice his people on a losing uh, ally and Boris did exactly that. So he bought time, he maneuvered and uh, he delayed as much as he could because he knew that the end will come soon enough. Exactly and in the next segment I'll talk about uh, that particular um, uh, um, events of the summer of 1943 and um, why the Holocaust did not take place in Bulgaria. And what happened to the whole issue of uh, how important citizenship is, a document like a passport, sometimes uh, we take it for granted today, but we're going to hear Rabbi Asa talk to us about the unfortunate situation of the uh, territories of Thrakia and Macedonia, which were next to Bulgaria, and much more. So thank you very much, Rabbi thank Asa. Thank you. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Și-ai mai vrea, și-ai mai vrea Tăguță ană Ca să te îmbrac mai până Hramă Să-ți cumpăr, să-ți cumpăr Cercei mai ană Dar eu n-am de unde mai Coadară Auzi, dragă, fata nechi Dragă Aseară poli o Tăgiceană Și-acum nu Sparale, să-ți cumpăr Sandale Buzunarele sunt goale, da Mai apoi trecuță, încă o băncuță Și pe ui încă o 